So this week, my wife and I decided we are going to start a diet. Hoo-hoo! Yes! I can hardly wait, he says, right? And we've talked about dieting before, and we've tried to diet, and we've tried to watch what we eat and cut down, and, you know, we always have the best of intentions, and then there's like, ooh, pie, I love pie, uh, or ice cream, or, oh my gosh, there's another, a picnic, I love picnics, right, so there's always the opportunity to break the diet, and go and eat what we want to eat, and, but this time is different, we've made the commitment, we've said we're going to do it, uh, we went out, and I bought some salads and uh, got all the ingredients for uh, awesome salads. Uh, bought some chicken breast. Some, we're going to buy some fish. And uh, we're going to put together this nutritional diet that uh, takes you know, vegetables and fruits and, and lean meats. And, and we're going to stick to this diet. And we're going to work towards a healthier lifestyle. But here's the thing, if I don't make the commitment to do it, we can do this, you know, a hundred more times this year, right? We can, I'm going to diet again, I'm not kidding this time, right? And then we diet for a couple days and then the next nice thing that comes around that we see that we want to eat and we, and we two-hand it, right? We use two hands for spoons or forks or whatever it is we're eating And, and we blow it. And I think that it goes along with our faith walk as well, right? There are times when we say, you know what, God, I'm going to, I'm going to follow you. I'm going to, I'm going to get closer to you. And uh, I want to hear your voice and I want to, I want to get involved and I want to do things. And then instead of going to church and getting involved in a ministry and praying and reading scripture and hanging out with uh, mature Christians who can give us insight and wisdom into how to deepen our faith and get closer to Jesus, we just fall back into our same old routine. And we sleep in a little later and we don't have devotions in the morning when we get up and, and we don't pray before we eat and well, we, uh, we forget to be grateful to God for the blessings that he pours out upon us. And then there's, oh yeah, uh, you see, we just don't have the commitment. We don't have the commitment to draw closer to God. And I had a friend to say to me one time, like, dude, I hear you say you can hear God speak to you. And I'm like, dude, I do sometimes when I'm in prayer, like I hear this this voice whispering to me like, hey man, you need to call this person or you need to get involved in this. And then when I do, it's God is working, right? God has pushed me into that direction. And they say, you know, hey, I, dude, I don't know how to hear God's voice. I'm like, well, are you praying? Are you reading scripture? Are you trying to draw close to God? And they're like, ah, well, not, not really. I'm like, well, then how are we ever going to hear God's voice if we don't make the commitment to draw close to him. May we hear God's voice and may may we make the commitment to chase after him each and every day. May God continue to pour out his grace, mercy, and blessings on each and every one of us until we get to meet again. Amen. Amen.